Alt 92.3. All right, what's going on? It's Bryce, um, Alt 92.3, and we're here with the Joy Formidable. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello, Bryce. It's us again. Bryce. Yeah, Ritzy, Rid, Matt. Uh, full the disclosure. Back together. Yeah. Woo. yeah. Definitely went on tour with these guys for a little bit. Know them well. <laughs> I expect the best. Too well. He knows us too well. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> let's let's dirt. throw you a softball. Uh, how was the foos? You just went out with tour at the foos. Again, this is the second second time, right? Yes. Uh, lovely. Thank you. Had a really nice tour with them. Uh, they're really great people. You they have are... a great crew. So, you, you know, the whole thing is really easy and fun. And you get... A lot of kindness, and you get looked after. So you guys, best friends forever. The cr- crowds are probably because you guys were playing some stadiums, right? Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, it was pretty. Uh, yeah, crazy. a bunch of baseball stadiums. Yeah, we had a great time. You know, it's it's nice to mix it up between so you know big shows like that and some intimate shows. So um, yeah, we we, we said, okay, we'll bring it on, man. Yeah, the crowds are great. Mm. We have the amps on full power, whatever size venue we're in. That's right. Yeah, you don't have an amp. Well, that's what you think. <laughs> yeah, I've heard, I've heard. Does he get a microphone yet, or do we still no mic for Matt? Yeah, uh, good, 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 yeah. good call, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk about. Let's dive into the record then. Uh, Arth mm. is how you say it. Means bear in Welsh. Am I wrong? Yeah. Fill me in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's and right. it, you know, a little bit of poetic license because we've extended the A's at the beginning, so it feels a little bit more. Is it a scream? Is it an exultation? What is it? Well, it's like, Arth. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. isn't it? Oh, we were saying that today, we, it was pointed out to us, this isn't something that we knew already, but it's International Taught Like a Pirate Day. Arr. So, I <laughs> mean, it's... very fitting. So, yeah. for today, at least. We didn't, <laughs> yeah. we didn't plan that, but... That's it. Well, someone planned it, obviously, but it wasn't us. <laughs> but if you want to talk like a pirate, then yeah, uh, carry it's on. It's a pretty good um, album title to, you know, enjoy this moment and so but what is it so bare is that representative mm-hmm. of like your attitude as a band where you're at right now is it sort of a signifier of the sound of the record you know where did that come from it definitely feels this this album that we uh, we found this um new energy again you know it took a minute um ritzy had writer's block for a second there um, we've been through some things personally. We're in odd times socially as well. It kind of felt like we needed a minute to regroup. And once we had gotten through that period, it was like, wow, you know, we've actually more energized than ever. So, um, Arthur, it being like that, I mean, there's a playful element to it. You know, we've always enjoyed toying with language anyway. But um, And also this almost like a primal scream element to it. I don't know, is it frustration, like you say, or, or, or what? But um, yeah, uh, this album is just like full of life to us, you know, and um, all the artwork we were just showing you, the box set, um, seemed to, seems to signify that for us as well. We just had a, a yeah. lot of fun with it, you know, and, and kind of, yeah, celebrated... Um, okay. It's so bright. It's so bright yeah. and beautiful. Yeah, we see it as a very uh, colourful um, album musically. And, um, yeah, as I'm saying, I, I like, had fun with it and enjoyed toying with guitars. Again, you know, we I think we're, again, sometimes a bit bogged down in this uh, whole thing of, like, uh, writing off genres of music and, like, uh, that guitar music can't be relevant anymore. It's, it's such bullshit. So we really enjoyed um, going to town with it and kind of, like, not overthinking it, you know. Yeah, like, like I said, as soon as we got over this, kind of period of like making sense what what do we want to do here we just kind of went wild and had fun yeah it's great um mm. i was gonna say the guitar work on the record is wild there's like a lot of like crazy sounds that you're pulling out of that thing like what so, so walk me through writing like i know that when we were on tour for hitch you guys kind of went out to utah to work on some stuff mm-hmm. is that where you did most of the writing is that where most of these sounds are coming from uh, yeah, I suppose the last record, um, we were kind of writing on the road, but then we actually took it to North Wales, and, and that was a really kind of performance-based record, you know. I think that was the aesthetic of Hitch, was, uh, like, you know, press record and kind of, you know, vibe it out and, and feel these tracks from a kind of a in a live sense. But um, this album, um, yeah, definitely more experimental, um, kind of more playful. We keep coming back to the word kind of collage-like, 
um, lots of layers kind of coming in and out and guitars and you know obviously there's some synth in there yeah I mean there's like there's obviously you know some really kind of solid performance moments but I don't think that we were shy of you know shy to um, take layers and instruments and really mess about with them you know there's combination of real drums and samples and and um, percussion (laughs) percussion made of all sorts of different things and the same with the guitars there you know uh, yeah there's quite a playful approach to the production in moments of bringing things in and out and giving them a kind of a different uh, life as well yeah we've pieced it together in a different way to our other records we've always had multi-layered and very dense records but this one is like you say like fleeting moments uh, coming in and out and i think um we also wanted to capture somehow the 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 space where we were right we went to you know record drums in some caves uh, in utah and all kinds of stuff like this idea of like grabbing the location of you know because that collage concept Mm -hmm. yeah yeah and then so the artwork, Rid, I know you're uh, you're an artist. Is, did you do this or is this? We were laughing about this because like, we had a chat um, at this session the other night and the uh, chap was um, complimenting me. But that's the only image I haven't done for this uh, <laughs> record. Um, I've, should within, we pop, should we pop it open? That, there's uh, right. like um, a whole bunch of images to go along with every song. So, yeah, done. Yeah, the, the booklet's uh, got. Yeah, it's all, all Ridian's Ridian. artwork. This is awesome. Yeah. Unpacking video. We'll put this on well, YouTube. Yeah. Some <laughs> nice red, video. red vinyl red there. Vinyl. Should I hold that? Sure. It's kind of turned into a shopping channel now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, right. <laughs> there's all kinds of yeah. stuff in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wanted to talk about this. So Cicada, you guys did this, oh, this seven inch disc. with the picture, picture disc of Cicada. Yeah, yeah, but the reprise is the thing that I love as well on the opposite side. So it, it, Cicada actually has a has another part to it, the land on your back should we, section. So should that's we pull the it out? Sa- or the, the flip side of that, I suppose. Yeah, pull it out. It's there we go. Ah. Uh, uh, I really, two, I have no idea where yeah. it's There's going. two sides <laughs> to this record. And you can listen to both of them <laughs> if you get the record. Hot new thing. <laughs> that's um, it. Yeah, but the, um, the, the main image is from a Brazilian yeah, artist book called in there. Fernando, uh, what we were saying, Chamarelli, I think. Shamarelli. The Portuguese. Um, we should ask him. But yeah, we, that, we that image just really <laughs> spoke to us, you know, as we were saying about this um, multi layered, very colourful um, album we've made. We just felt like it was really fitting. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We love it. The artwork's very important to us as well. Mm. Getting that right. I know. <laughs> well, the last album artwork was crazy too. Do you, do you want to tell that story? Can we talk about that? Is that Are we going too off topic if we talk about it? <laughs> go, 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 man. No, I was just going to say with, you know, with Ralph Steadman. Cool, and yeah. it was like sort of a really roundabout way that you guys sort of met him. And yeah, in a, who would have thought? We're from a little tiny town in Wales called Mould or Urwydgrig. And we went for a <laughs> beer. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Well, the story's ridiculous, really. It is a silly story, yeah. So we were just having a beer in this tiny little pub, and we bumped into a couple of people, drink, got chatting, found out that one of them was um, J.R.R. R. Tolkien's grandson. Wild. Gra- is it his great-grandson? No, grandson. Uh, grandson, of the Yeah. No. He wrote some books you may have heard yeah. of. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. he, he was out having a drink with Ralph Steadman's daughter. Yeah, why and, not? As you do. As you yeah. do. <laughs> And, uh, and we knew the friends and yeah, kind of we like had we mutual friends, and, and we were just probably had had enough beers to say, "Hey, do you think your dad would uh, like to, you know, do as a little illustration?" Yeah, he's and one of my favorite. Yeah, illustrators I know. Ever, Ralph, Ralph Steadman. Yeah. yeah, he's great. Yeah, I remember so, we met him in was it like Colorado. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. At the Bluebird. Yeah. Wild guy. Did you guys get to spend more time with him? or? Uh, we haven't seen him since then. We've had some good phone calls with him where he plays harmonica to us on the telephone, <laughs> which is like, uh, you know, quite, yeah. It's, I mean, he's he's got a lot of good stories. Oh, I'm sure he's yeah. a wild guy. Yeah, he mm-hmm. is. Well, The other funny thing to come from that meeting was <laughs> we got asked Oh, to we got asked to do the premiere of Lord of the, they were having a Lord of the Rings premiere in this tiny little town. The in Hobbit, North wasn't Way. it? Oh, yeah, it was the Hobbit, yeah. And you guys, play, you guys played yeah, it? Yeah, it was, just, it was just a really weird night. <laughs> what a time. Yeah, yeah just, yeah. yeah, never agree to things when you're drunk, really, is the, is the uh, Yeah. You know. Well, then again, it turned <laughs> out all right. It like it turned out so poorly. Just take it how you will, yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about The Better Me, because that seems like, is that the focus track right now? 
Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So let's talk about that song in general. What mm -hmm. uh, what does it mean to you? Where are those lyrics coming from? Where are you at personally? Let's get real into it. Really? Okay. Um, well, it's kind of a, uh, it's quite a pretty personal and poignant song. I suppose it's like kind of coming to terms with your flaws and your failings and um, you're telling a, a loved one thank you for kind of being there and sometimes not being quite as much of a fuck up as you. There you go. <laughs> yeah, this, al this album kind of deals with some healing mm -hmm. to, to some extent, you know. You, um, I think we were chewed up a little bit, um, having done this for 10 years, and you come across some unsavory things, I think, unfortunately, doing music for a long uh, time. Some things about the industry can uh, drag you down, but you know what? There's some great people out there, some great art out there, and I think it just took us a minute to kind of, you know, regroup. And on the, on the personal side as well, I think um, almost like this uh, transforming... Uh, bad energy into something uh, positive uh, was was a mm -hmm. big part it of this was, record, yeah. and I think um, yeah. we need it right now. I mean, yeah. I remember when we were on it's... tour, I was making fun of you guys because Brexit was happening, and I was like, "Ha, ah, you guys are screwed." <laughs> you are idiots. Yeah. And then <laughs> Trump happened. I think the next tour, and I was like, "Oh God!" Why did you want to go do a Brexit <laughs> for guys? <laughs> it's interesting times, isn't it? You yeah. know, but um, you know, you always got to have hope. I think, and like I said, there's some great um, positive things that can actually come from all of this. We just got to. We were just talking before. You just got to have open debate. I think you know. Um, honest open debate and uh, have the occasional conflict but resolve it as opposed to writing people off like this whole group identity thing you know yeah and i remember that's like kind of pretty important i remember you on tour were a pretty political guy had some opinions and i think as a band <laughs> activism is something that's like mm -hmm. pretty important to you guys yep. is that something you're still involved with i want to say there was you guys were doing something with orangutan oh yeah that was yeah we were doing we always try and do some you know like well, obviously, there's a lot of causes that, you know, um, are important to us. So, um, yeah, we like to kind of do things with it. I think every tour we usually have, like, something that's, you know, the, there's an element of merch going towards something charitable. So, yeah, you got to, you know, keep a, a conscience and be aware and keep a, you know, I've just noticed, like, there's a surge at the moment of people telling musicians to, like, not, be political and surely like making art it's all about um you know wanting to learn and be insightful and questioning and you know that's the whole basis of rock and roll is to you know open things out expose things wonder you know so like yeah it's, it's like ridiculous to tell you know gone down the path sometimes yeah. of just like oh music's just pure entertainment yeah, just entertain now me. Well, you know, I get why it kind of happened. I suppose there was a reaction a little bit from, you know, a really rich rock stars saying, hey, you should do this, you should do that, when they're maybe not living like that themselves and things like that. So I get it, you know, but, like, I think we need to be a bit more open again and, and see that there is worth in, uh, uh, you know, music... Um, uh, can do both, right? It can be entertaining, but also challenge you and stimulate Absolutely. you intellectually. And, yeah. you know. As it should, as the best art does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to change gears here. And ask ask a more personal question. What does Matt do more? Play Frank Zappa or weird movies on the bus? Wow. Oh my god. Well, yeah. The Zappa obsession hasn't stopped just yeah, that, like that, that would never end. Still going down the world. That's cool by us anyway. Uh, <laughs> we were talking about this, we were laughing about it yesterday because we were saying that every tour um, Matt seems to get a new hobby and it's not just like a kind of a fleeting hobby like, oh I'm just gonna do a bit of this. It's like a whole obsession. I go obsession. Full on. It's I go like, balls to the wall. You know, origami <laughs> one minute, he's not into origami the next minute, it's like every Every minute of the day he's yeah. making things. I remember, weren't you learning like programming languages when we were on yeah, tour? Yeah, yeah, still doing that. Yeah. Sure. Then there was the, we were like, we were saying there was the guitar tour, the uh, shred, uh, shredding. Shredding. I wanted to shred so hard. And the worst one, but, if you don't mind me oh, saying, what was that one? definitely the keep fit one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that when you got super buff? <laughs> yeah. I got super buff. <laughs> this. Obviously. You know, because uh, in, in a few long. weeks, and then in it was like, like oh, I'm, just, I'm just eating burgers again now. <laughs> yeah, I'm done with this. I, I, I suffered a horrific injury, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I thought, well, I'll, I'll either be buff or play drums. So I took the drums. <laughs> Can't be both. You know. Yeah, it's, for me, it's easier playing drums than getting buff. <laughs> Fair enough. It's not a, not a log pulling in your future. None of that. Well, 
Still we have, time, I we guess. have a little tug of war before going on stage. We, do. About it. we won't say what we're tugging on, but yeah. uh, oh, you know. Jesus. <laughs> oh, you're not going to do a McCartney on his own. <laughs> you hear that story? <laughs> Which story? Paul McCartney story. No. It just came out. Oh, oh no. that story. <laughs> yes, I heard that story. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see? There's also a good, I'll show you when we're done here. But there's like some good <laughs> tweets about it too. Yeah, yeah he's oh. the fucking meme king. This is. This. Oh, I remember. Oh, yeah, of course. Memes, it's... obscure, strange films at four yeah. in the morning. Yeah. 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 What's that one you was trying to play you? Uh, that German film, uh, Killer Condoms from Outer Space. Yeah. Oh God. I think we got like three quarters of the way through that over like five <laughs> nights. You're just like no. Nope. Yeah, every night I was like, I don't know if I can do this. Like, it's been a lot of gin. I just don't know. <laughs> Speaking of unsavory stories, um, I wanted to try and pull one out of you guys. Peter Katzis, your manager, is like a legend. Have you guys gone out with him? Have you had weird nights with him? Or oh, have, yeah. has he told you crazy stories? Like, what's the what's the Peter Katzis life like? <laughs> All of those question, uh, yeah. things. Yes. We've been yeah. out with him many times. Yeah, Definitely. Pete's a, a great guy. And yeah, there's plenty of stories. Yeah, are you asking about... Do you want to share? I don't. I don't know anything specific. Do I don't want to get you in trouble. I don't want to get you dropped right now. Are you allowed to share that? Sure. Well, just call our lawyer. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so another thing I want to do while we have you guys here is um, just for fun, you know, like. Mm -hmm. Welsh obviously is not the first language of our audience, and you know it's a tough time, and you know, people are a little frustrated. And I was wondering if maybe you could share some um, some expletives, maybe that we could uh, <laughs> if we're on the train and, and we're a little frustrated, and we don't really want someone to know how frustrated we are. Oh, that's a good idea. We've never been asked to uh, share Welsh. Or if Justin swear Bieber cuts us before. in line at the bagel shop. I'll or be something. honest with you. Um, you know, if you go, if you want to be like quite purist Welsh, I don't think they've got the best kind of range of swear words. I don't know if it's just because we're a very polite nation, you know. So Get away. you know, <laughs> like well, there's not like a ton of. I mean, there's probably more like more that's developed. But if you think about like like the way that people would they'd say things like, uh, what does your dad always say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, God yeah, damn but that's it what all. I mean. Like that would is like you know to a lot of the population that would be, but it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, but the fake yadir kumraik, like uh, what they, what is, um you know like a dictionary of like swear words. There's an English. Oh, uh, the so the yeah, the yeah, there's yeah. a Welsh one of the. Oh my God, I've never laughed so hard. Yeah, yeah that is pretty funny actually. Um, but there's you're not you, giving you, us anything. Yeah, there's, oh, no, sorry, there's one, one good one. I need at least I mean, one good I, one. I always so, like con. But you kind of like, <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing you, you we have that in America, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's with an O, you know. <laughs> you can translate one quite, that one quite easy. Yeah. Yeah. Milky melon, we always laugh at. Yeah, um, yeah. but that's got that's because it's got quite a lot of like, it's quite fantastical. It's um, it means the yellow greyhound. <laughs> um, and it's a way of ha describing that you might have some body problems. Oh. A bit of, a bit of a bit diarrhea. Of diarrhea. Yeah. Oh, hey. yeah. All right. <laughs> you got the the milky melons, the yellow greyhounds. I'm, I'm using, I'm whipping that one out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> the milky melons. Diao. <laughs> Diao. Diao. Yeah, but yeah. that's kind of lame as well, though. No, that's, that's just, just that like, like you're mean. Yeah, it's like yeah. devil. Yeah, it's like devil. Yeah. Oh, you devil. Um, you devil. It. Is mm. there one for you, uh, rotter? No, a, tip, a typical one is uh, dosi gachi. That that would be the equivalent to. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm even. Yeah, right go for it. We already that's said kind. Equivalent to fuck yeah. off. Okay. But uh, what was it? To fuck off. It's the equivalent of fuck off, but it actually means go and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, and we we'll say it again. Dosi gachi. Oh, Dorsey, actually, Dorsey, I'm gonna. Dorsey I don't even want to try. We're gonna have to like put us like a Dor subtitle. Dorsey bustle. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, what was the other one? Bullshit. What's that? Oh, oh kachitaro. Kachitaro. I this is I I regret barking up this tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <it's> like, <laughs> but for you at home, <laughs> now you know. Now you know. Yeah. Guys, thanks so much. No, um, cool. Arth, a beautiful package. You can pre-order yeah. it now. Oh yes. And yes. Uh, it comes with other. There's other stuff in here, right? There's like yes. a whole. There's a Badge, there's the record, inch, there's a booklet. Oh, there's a and subscription thing. Yeah, the music club. Yeah. And Tell us about the music club. That's real probably quick quite important. Actually, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's like I suppose you get this album, and then the music club is going to span over several months, and you'll get another almost album's worth of material. Wow. Like that. And there's some lovely moments, like uh, some stuff that we were working on, you know, within these sessions, some covers. Uh, any uh, teasers you'd like to share? Well, we've kind of succumbed to 
um, some uh, fan pressure, I think, because we were working on a few other things and we did a very tiny little bit of... We were meltdown for Robert Smith's curated Amazing. festival in, in London. We just did a very it's tiny... Like personal invites, right? Yeah, yeah, it was lovely and we had a great cool. night and yep. um, we just did a tiny little te tease of um, pictures of you. But it was like, you know, it was like a segue into right. something. And then we've had a lot of people <laughs> say, like, please release it. So we were like, normally we don't take requests, you know. And we're like, mm. it's, but yeah, one it of has come out lovely. Songs. So, yeah. Wait till you hear Lady in Red, eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. You I can do that, <laughs> Thomas. You can do that. Dude, that's you great. You a killer one of that. Yeah. What's his name? Well, Peter from Kiss? Been. But oh, Chris de Berg, isn't Christa it? Chris Berg. Chris de Berg. He did. Yeah. He's talking about Red. Lady in Red. Oh, no, I was talking about, like, the oh. drummer in Kiss. He had, like, a whole huge oh, hit off the band. Yeah, What's his name? Peter? Anyone? Peter, Peter Chris. Chris. Yeah. Peter Chris. Yeah. You have to paint your face, though. Yeah, no. I do. I wouldn't put it past. <laughs> That's where this My is. It's all painted. I believe it. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Guys, thanks so Thank much for so coming much. in. Thanks, Pleasure. And we'll see you soon. You wait. You guys are in New York when? New November. November the ninth. Music Hall, Williamsburg. Yes. That's it. We'll yeah. see you there. Watch out. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. <laughs>